Welcome to another one of our Bluebeam Me Up How To tutorials, brought to you by Brighter Graphics Limited, where we show you how to maximize the potential of your investment in Bluebeam Review. Brighter Graphics are the oldest established Bluebeam partner and your premium Bluebeam solutions provider. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to show you how to create counts in Bluebeam Review. While most measurements require the scale of the document, counts are simply for counting items. Here in this electrical plan, we need a count of all of the lighting fixtures. There are two ways to do this. First, you can use the default count tool from the measurements panel and manually click on each fixture. This places a check mark over the item which is then totaled for you in the markups list. Any counts added in the same sequence, that is, without hitting escape or using another tool will be totaled as part of one group. If you were to begin again, this would be considered a new count. You can right-click on the count group and click resume count to continue a count that was considered finished. For rooms that are similar across many levels, you can copy and paste counts as well, adding to the initial count total. You can continue counting with this manual process, or you could utilize the visual search feature to speed up the process. Review can search for a symbol in the content throughout an entire document or folder of documents. In this case, click on the search panel and select Get Rectangle. Then draw a box around the symbol. Make sure that when getting the rectangle, you choose the cleanest option for that item where possible. Once you've drawn your box around the symbol, click Search. Depending on the quality of your drawing you might need to play around with your sensitivity settings. Once review has finished the search process it will show you the results below the search options. Notice that review can find symbols even if they are rotated or have any intersecting lines crossing it. At the very top of the search options, you can click select all, then, apply count, to select your options from either the built-in count symbols or any custom count symbols you may have had in your tool chest. This will save you a lot of time counting, but please note, you still need to give the drawing a visual check with your own eyes to make sure it's gotten everything. Visual search is designed to get you most of the way there. But you might need to add a few manual counts as well. Once you've added counts to a drawing you will probably need to manipulate them. Counts are useful, in that, all the counts are summarized into a single markup. However, you may need to split these counts to apply different information to them or to distinguish between them if there is a special light fixture in one room. The split counts functionality allows you to split a single count or selection of count elements from its group leaving two separate count markups. Select a count. Right-click on the count symbol and select split count. The count is now a new count markup which will allow you to change the symbol reflecting the specification or apply any additional data. Thank you for watching. We hope you found the video useful. You can visit our website, www.brightergraphics.com, for more videos in the how-to series and all things Bluebeam Review. We at Brighter Graphics, welcome your feedback to help us to improve. 